So in this tutorial we'll focus on the Miller theorem in practical electronic circuits. So let's assume an ideal inverting voltage amplifier with an open loop gain equal to A. So the Miller theorem states that the equivalent circuit looks like this. So observe that the input impedance is equal to Z divided by 1 plus the open loop gain and the output impedance is Z times the open loop gain divided by 1 plus the open loop gain. Now this, meaning the output impedance, is actually very close to Z in case the open loop gain is high. So how can we now prove this theorem and understand how it works? So let's focus at the input impedance because the equivalent output impedance can be proven in the same way. So in order to do this, we apply a test voltage V in at the input node and monitor the current flowing out of that source, equal to I in. So the equivalent input impedance is equal to V in divided by I in. That's the impedance presented to the source. So first case, let's assume that the open loop gain is equal to zero. So the circuit simplifies to this. The input impedance is easily calculated and it's equal to the input voltage divided by the input current which in this case is of course equal to the impedance Z. Now assume that the voltage gain is equal to 1. So this circuit simplifies to this. So what's the input impedance? Well, the input impedance is calculated in the same way. The input voltage is V in, but the current, of course, has doubled because the current now is equal to 2 times V in, which is the voltage drop across Z divided by Z, meaning that the equivalent impedance has halved. So that's all nice in theory, but in practical designs we use the Miller effect related to capacitors. Like in this design. So remember that the impedance presented by capacitance is equal to 1 divided by S times the capacitance itself, where S is the Laplace variable. So using the Miller theorem this gives us this so, as you can see, the capacitance at the input is actually much bigger now. It's equal to C times 1 plus the, the absolute value of the open loop gain of the amplifier. As an example, a Miller integrator looks like this. Now, the cutoff frequency of that filter is easily and quickly found using the Miller theorem, because it's equal to, Fc is equal to, 1 divided by 2 pi r times c multiplied by 1 plus the absolute value of the open loop gain of the amplifier. Now please observe two things which are very important. This capacitor here seemingly becomes much larger because it's multiplied by 1 plus the absolute value of the open loop gain. And the second thing that you should remember is that you really need an inverting amplifier. This will not work if you have a non-inverting amplifier. 